Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. On today's episode, I'm going to show how to make cool, badass tire spikes for your Gaslands vehicles. Gaslands is a miniatures game of post-apocalyptic vehicular mayhem using 164th scale vehicles. I don't remember where I got this car. It's a generic car. It doesn't have any licensing. I liked it because it reminded me of say a Honda Civic or a Ford Taurus or some kind of everyday car that you would see on the road nowadays just turned into some kind of post-apocalyptic. I added a bit here for a Ram, which was an underside here of a different vehicle and then a little computer part and these spikes. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show how to do these spikes for your Gaslands games. And I'm going to do some spikes on this vehicle, which is uh, one of my rocket bugs I just put together. Put little bits and pieces. I wanted to show everyone what it looked like before I added the paint to it. And since this is really overdone uh, on purpose, because I think it's kind of funny, I thought I would add, do a tutorial on let's add some spikes. So let's uh, go over what we're going to do. These are little button snaps that come in a bag. The button snap fasteners are usually found in what is called the sundries and notion section of the sewing department. Yes, there's actually some things called sundries and notions and snap fasteners fit into that category. So for this craft, I use the 7 16ths of an inch size. I went to two stores to find these just for this video. I found them at Joann's Fabrics as well as Wally World. Here are the snap parts which we can use for another craft for Gaslands. Or you can even just use these if you want for your tires for your Gaslands game. Here are the spikes. And... On the grid, if we look, they're a little under half an inch, so I think they're seven sixteenths of an inch. What I have here are the little button sew fasteners snaps from the store, and we have a couple options that we could use. We could do this one on there, which is kind of badass, uh, or we could do the spikes, which I think is even more badass. So... Uh, is the one option or we could do this little spike here and if you look it just fits on perfectly to that so it's a piece of cake i'm telling you this craft is fast cheap and easy what i'm gonna do is take uh super glue and today i'm using the army painter brand super glue from my friendly local game shop for five bucks uh, i like to support my game shops that I game in because that's how they make money. So here's how I'm just gonna glue this sucker on. You just take your super glue and dab on to the tire bit. Plop that sucker on. Whoops, you got like your, you got like your tenth of a second before your super glue turns into water. And there you go. Now, a trick for super glue is uh, it will dr it dries from moisture. So if you breathe on it with like your breath, it will help get the super glue to dry quicker. So a lot of times I put stuff in my mouth. <sighs> breathe on it to get that <laughs> to get that effect but there you go there's your spikes so there's without and with oh that's such a badass little rocket rocket bug by the way this rocket bug was inspired by the uh channel skirmish wargaming there is a a lady named lynn who made a rocket bug hers looked different she had a cool rocket piece that she put on top of hers a little greebly uh whereas i used a bit from 
the Dollar Tree from one of those faux Transformer robots. And so we'll just put this last one on there and voila. Ta-da, we have got spikes on the tires of our Gaslands vehicle. So I had some extra, two extra spikes and I put them on the Monster Dairy truck that I've been working on and modding. This is just shenanigans, but uh, I thought it looked cool. And the back wheels roll, the front ones don't. So that way I can be all threatening. Soon as you 